from journalism to the powerhouse figure you've become, not only in sport, but an inspiration to the rest of the Western world. Eddie Foxfooty wish you all the best on your secondment at Channel 9. May you be able to work in unison with both networks and may there be cohesion in everything you do. You're a man of great integrity. I consider you a friend first before a work colleague. Not only will you ensure Channel 9 is alive and kicking, you will breed a new generation of TV viewers who will look at the Thursday TV Guide and say, right, I've got the option of watching shows A, B, C or possibly D. Are these shows watchable? And if so, what are the KPIs that I'm going to judge my viewing pleasure on to ensure that I'm getting maximum supply? If it were up to me, I'd probably watch you, Eddie. Yeah, look, Eddie, Robert Walsh here. Uh, just wanted to wish you all the best for the remainder of the season. Uh, look, I know it's never easy being a figurehead like yourself. You've had your name dragged through the mud at times, but gee, haven't we all? And I just think, like you or not, you need your big name players stepping up come September, and I certainly think you'll be the difference for Channel 9 and the free show when it matters most. So all the best and good luck. Well, it's been a long wait, Ed, but we've finally got you back. You're coming home to the show you started. I've seen a lot of faces come and go. Uh, more recently, The Lone Wolf, Gary Lyon, JB, and now Big Hutch, who no one particularly likes. So believe me when I say it, Ed, we need you. It's now or never. If you leave, then we're stuffed, and it'll be Channel 7 taking back the reins with Friday Front Bar, and that would just be absolutely tragic if we were to be undone by a panel spearheaded by Andy Marr. Uh, no offence to Andy, but it's true, and I reckon he knows it as well.